let's first take a look at a live demonstration that showcases some of the FBI capabilities we have discussed so far. I'm joined by Ravi Khalamish, our VP of Technical Services, who will drive the demo. Ravi, you ready? Ready. Excellent. So the performance navigator that you're looking at at the moment is the primary visualization tool we use to slice and dice end user performance metrics any way you wish in real time. We're going to share with you four different demo scenarios that will highlight some of the powerful capabilities of the navigator. The navigator has three primary views, troubleshoot, analyze, and repository. Let's take a look at the troubleshoot view to start. This view is used primarily primarily by help desk and IT operations teams in order to get a quick, real-time or historical view of end-user experience, which means application performance, host resources and desktop metrics, and other metrics such as usage and productivity, and understand how performance trends over time. We can select any time frame from the last few minutes to as far back as last year or, any, or even further. Any monitored application can also be selected. And for the purpose of this demo, Ravi, I think we're going to choose response time for the clinical manager application. The table on the left displays the response time for each business activity or transaction or business process, depending on the nomenclature, across all of the users using clinical manager. We can see the average, maximum, and number of clinical manager activities performed in our selected time frame. What's interesting is the status column which reflects how many of the clinical manager activities or transactions performed deviated from the automatically generated baselines or manual thresholds set by the app owners. More about this exciting topic a little later. The color coding of the status reflects the magnitude of the deviation, which we categorize as critical, major, minor, or normal. The middle table represents the users, which can either be physical desktop users or virtual desktop users via Citrix or Terminal Services or VDI. For each physical desktop user, we can see the aggregated response time and activity level for all activities performed by that user for the clinical manager application. The status column reflects the overall end user experience for any clinical manager user. The table on the right displays the destination servers used to serve or deliver this application. These can be web servers, Citrix servers, database servers, or in our case, app servers, as we see for clinical manager application. Now, clicking on any of these activities, users or servers, will dynamically filter the view accordingly. Ravi, let's select user... Bobby. Bobby, okay. Let's select user Bobby, for example. The activities and destination servers show now are only for Bobby. The first chart below displays Bobby's response time for each of the clinical manager activities he performed over time. The second chart represents the status of each of the measurements or activities performed by Bobby. Non-green indicators reflect that Bobby's response time exceeded the baseline of normal performance for users in Bobby's location, accessing the same target server and sharing the same machine configuration as Bobby. Note that the performance status is displayed in the context of usage volume, which gives us additional insight into the magnitude of the business impact for those deviating measurements. Not so bad for Bobby. We can change the view of the second chart to reflect usage volume only in place of both status and volume. Thanks, Rob. Any view selected can be saved as a public or, tri or private template query to be reused at a later time or to be scheduled for automatic email distribution. Now, to build more complex templates, we use the Analyze view, where we can select use cases, activities, status types, comparison categories, and filters. The scenarios we're going to share with you for the rest of this first demo were all pre-built using the Analyzer view and have been saved in the repository. It literally takes 30 seconds to build any of the template views we're going to show with you, share with you. Ravi, let's take a look at performance by location and activity for the clinical manager application. The chart shows the response for each activity by user location. The y-axis, of course, represents response time in seconds for each activity performed by the users, while the x-axis represents their locations. You can switch the activities and the locations to slice and dice metrics differently. Now we see the response of each location grouped by activity. What we see is that the response time of submit lab order 
is slowest in Florida, almost twice as slow as the rest of the locations. To understand the business impact, we can quickly add a second chart that will correlate usage volume with the performance metrics currently displayed. And finally, analysis by location is only an example, as we could have grouped by department or role or machine type, for example. Ravi, let's focus the use, next use case on quality of services as, as opposed to response time metrics. The Eternity FBI platform's analytics engine can normalize the performance of multiple different measurement types to a single percentile score so they can all be compared against each other. In other words, perform apples to oranges comparison. The quality of service map shows the quality of service score for the online trading application on the x-axis. And the 50th percentile represents the organizational average or norm for the quality of service of this app. Higher percentages represent poor quality of service. And lower percentages represent better than average service. The size of the bubble represents the volume of activities performed for each group. The larger the bubble, the higher the level of business impact. The y-axis represents the variability of the service. We immediately see that users from Florida are experiencing the worst overall quality of service for the online trading application. Drilling down into Florida, we can see the quality of service for each activity in this location. Looks like login, buy, and sell are performing within the baseline from this location. However, book dividend and open portfolio activities are almost at the 70th percentile. Clicking on either of these activities shows us the Citrix server used for this activity from this location. And that tells us that users from Florida utilizing Citrix server 002 or having the worst performance in the company. Ravi, let's take a look at Outlook launch time analysis for our next example. Note the impact of the size of the Outlook PST file, which is the Outlook database file stored on the client, on the time it takes to launch Outlook. This use case demonstrates the powerful correlation between desktop resource consumption and application performance that the Eternity FBI platform performs in real time, all of the time. Ravi, our last use case will focus around usage or user productivity. In other words, analysis of application usage as opposed to application performance or quality of service. Let's look at SAP this time around, SAP. We can see that the top two business activities used are login and display document. Drilling down shows us the breakdown by location. And we can see that this activity is mostly used within Massachusetts and Florida locations. Very helpful for folks responsible for application adoption and, um, and initiatives such as those, as well as to the engineers who want to see which are the top processes or business activities being used by users for their applications. Thank you, Ravi.